me now to discuss all of this. Charlie Hurt, the Washington Times opinion editor, a Fox Business contributor. I think that what's going on here, Charlie, is that if the voting laws are remotely normal, the Democrats have no shot. They, they will lose the House and the Senate. And so that's what's at play here. And I think it's the stakes are even higher right now because, you know, you do have to ask the question, what on earth are they so scared of? What I mean, you start to wonder, are, what are they hiding? And, uh, and you know, I, I get it. There are a lot of th theories out there and a lot of unproven things that, that uh, accusations that get made. Mm -hmm. uh, I, at this point, I'm open to all of them. I'm uh, After four or five years of this, I'm beginning to, to, like, when I hear a conspiracy, the wilder the conspiracy theory, the more I'm like, okay, well, tell me more. I'm, I'm willing to listen. All ears open. But it does, but when you see this stuff, it starts to make you think, what are they trying to hide? What are they so upset about? And not only do I think that, uh, do I th agree with you that I think that they could find that their uh, political fortunes are cons considerably dashed, but also, is it going to reveal something about the past? Are we going to learn something about their past uh, uh, well, techniques? What literally, it's, they're calling, it's <laughs> Jim Crow 2.0 if you can't do 24 hour a day drive through voting. That's how extreme their position is. So to me, I hear all of this rhetoric. It's not hyperbole, right. according to Joe Biden, but it is hyperbole. Right. Um, hand them a dictionary. <laughs> the, uh, but the only way that they can stay in power is if they somehow have rules that let them cheat. That's the. That's what it feels like. Yeah, and and, the, and the, uh, of course the perfect example is the thing about the voter ID uh, legislation, which is completely common sense. And you talk to regular Democrats, not people that in power that are uh, in Washington who are concerned with the power uh, mechanisms here, but are just actually actually concerned about um, free and fair elections. They're like, yeah, of course. Why why, why wouldn't you have to pr pr uh, show ID? And yeah, we do have kinkos around here. Um, but the other thing is that, that, you know, like ballot harvesting, which is, you know, right for corruption at, at uh, and, and, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, it, it really does make you wonder why do they want to push so hard on the idea that somebody can take a piece of paper, go door to door, and the only uh, verification that, that it's valid and that the, per that the person who voted is, is a functionary of a party or of a candidate who's who's keeping custody of that of the of the stack of ballots well because they need the voting laws or rules to be as loose right. as a big guy's belt after eating at the golden corral in order doesn't for them that, to stay in power doesn't that get tighter the big guy's belt. no you get loosen tighter. the belt you, lo you, lo you take the so, belt okay, off I got you. see you yeah. take the belt off I'll I'm a golden skillet guy, so, you know, and that's pure diet. See, I, we're going down this road of, we're, next we're going to be talking about killing hogs. I want to listen, I want you to get, uh, to listen to Kamala Harris, though, and ha how she described the valiant, heroic efforts of the Texas Democrats and what she compared them to. Listen to this. They took bold, courageous action. Um, in line with the legacy of everyone from Frederick Douglass, who's over my right shoulder when he fought for the right of black men to vote in America, to the legacy that includes all those women who marched down Pennsylvania Avenue for women's right to vote, to all of those folks who shed their blood on the Edmund Pettus Bridge to make sure that we would, in 1965, pass the Voting Rights Act. Do they believe this, or do they, do they believe that the people will believe it, Charlie? Because it disres it's disrespectful to people who put their lives on the line uh, during this, uh, the civil rights marches on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, the women who march for the right to vote. It, 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 it spits on them, literally. It really, it, no, it really does. And, you know, as dark a, a history as that period was, it was also a beautiful moment in our history as well because of people like John Lewis and because of people that, uh, that and, and ordinary people, and not, just, um, and not just people who were already sort of saw the light and were part of the activists, but the, but the decent, regular people who were outraged and who were the reason that that civil rights movement was successful. And for them to denigrate that those contributions that those people made and the real courage that they they literally risked their lives and their families and their all their treasure in order to to bring about these advancements and and the idea that you're going to compare what they did to John Lewis and name the bill after him 
to uh, to having to fork over an ID in order to cast a ballot? No, but she's comparing that these Texas Democrats who fl like fled yeah. Texas and which it prevents democracy from working, right. number one, but got on a chartered plane with some <laughs> Miller Lite and went to D.C. and had people at, like other Democrats genuflect in front of them. Yeah. That's who but, she's but, comparing but, to. But, 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 but part of it is the fact that she is comparing this entire effort at the voting rights. And it's the same thing that, you know, listening to Joe Biden talk about uh, the Jim Crow 2.0. The, the notion that what's going on, you know, that, that these basic common sense uh, voting laws that we that we're talking about today have any uh, relation whatsoever to the disgusting things that people used to do to black voters or black citizens back at that time is uh, it's it's reprehensible. We're not stupid. Right. As an American people, we have brains and we also have hearts. Right. And we know Absolutely. right from wrong, and we can spot a phony before he says his first words. That is um, Chuck Yeager. Just Amen. leave you with that, Charlie Hart. Man from West Virginia. We're from Virginia. That's why we <laughs> sound so country.